Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Megan and I talk about witchcraft, polytheism, and the intersection of magic and mundane. Today's video is sort of an extension on what I talked about in my ego in practice video. I talked about doing some experiments with things that I've never tried before and that's what I'm doing today or it's been like a week or two. Uh, for this whole experiment. So today you get to see a mini experiment of scripting. Now, I had a basic understanding of scripting before going into this experiment. I kind of knew what it was. I knew it's connected to the law of attraction and more of the new age community and manifestation. It's not necessarily a witchcraft practice, though it can be incorporated into witchcraft. But for this experiment, I didn't really have anywhere to start. So you're going to see me go through the whole process. You're going to see me um, give some updates and figure out what happened and if it worked for me. So since I've never scripted before and I have no idea what I'm doing or if there is a set process to follow, uh, different rules maybe for scripting, I did what everybody else would do and I went to YouTube and I did some research. Since scripting is considered a pseudoscience, there isn't a lot of research devoted to scripting and the law of attraction. So the only real research I could do was gather anecdotal evidence based on the videos and experiences of other people. With that in mind, I went to YouTube, of course. I looked up several videos on scripting, what it is, how to do it, and the types of results people usually got. Scripting is the act of writing down the things that you want as if they've already happened. It's used in the law of attraction as a method of manifestation, and many people say they've had great results with scripting. It was a little odd for me to imagine at first. So think of this example. Say you want a brand new car, right? So if you're gonna script it, you could write down exactly what you want in a letter to whatever higher power you wanted. It could say something like, Dear Universe, thank you so much for the blessing of my brand new Hyundai Elantra. It's exactly what I was looking for. The beautiful silver color is perfect and the matching leather interior is amazing. I feel like I'm living in luxury when I drive my new car. One of the main things that I was told to keep in mind while scripting was that I needed to write my script in either present tense or as if it has already happened. One person said they would write their scripts like a letter to the universe or God. Another said they would write their affirmations and scripts, then write about how they would feel when their script manifests. Some say you write it and forget about it, while others would write it and then read it regularly. There wasn't really any guidance on how to be specific, but as a witch, I know specificity is important. I made sure to date my scripts and try to be as specific as possible. Okay, so I think you all can see me okay. If not, whatever. So a little update on the scripting experiment. You all saw me create the little script that I did for finding the missing headphones. And the very next day, we were getting into our car and I thought popped into my head. So I rooted around in this little compartment and I found the missing headphone. Um, it wasn't the exact one that I wanted to find, but I wasn't specific in my script because we have two missing pair. The one pair has been missing for a couple of months um, since the last time we went to the beach. We have one headphone because they're, they're Bluetooth wireless like earbuds. We have one, but we're missing the charging case and the other headphone. So I'm gonna write another script for that specific one, but also, Today is Thursday. Tomorrow we are going camping and these campsites that we're going to are first come first serve and with next week being Thanksgiving weekend, I know you all are seeing this, you know, in the future, but next week for me right now is Thanksgiving weekend. It might be busy. So we're going to try to get out there as soon as we can to get a good campsite. So I'm going to try scripting it. We have a map of the campground and we have several spots picked out that we would really like to have and I figured why not give it a shot and try scripting it 
to see what happens and see if we get the spot we want. So let's do that really quick. As I said, we're going camping and I wanted to see if I could make sure we got a good spot and had an easy time setting up. This particular campground doesn't do reservations and every spot is given away on a first come, first served basis. This was an interesting experiment because I literally had no control over the spot or how this would even go. I made sure to include that I was thankful that the setup was easy, that we got the spot that we wanted, and that I would even have a nice time kayaking on the river. But what happened? That camping trip was a bust. <laughs> and I realized that maybe it's because I wrote the script the night before uh, and expected it to manifest the next day. But quite literally, we drove to the campground. We were there as soon as it opened so that we could go in and, you know, pay for our spot if there were spots open. But the campground was full and no one was leaving that day. So we drove to another campground, which was also full. And so I called another one, which was also full. But <laughs> I, I'm getting the feeling that I maybe wasn't um, specific enough with this particular script. I didn't include the name of the campground. I didn't include the dates that we were going to be there or that we wanted to be there. And maybe if this, this next part that I'm gonna tell you, maybe it is the universe having a sense of humor or maybe it's coincidence. However, we came home after trying to find a campground on Friday and I was looking online, looking at different um, state parks and campgrounds and things like that. And I found one for the following weekend at a place that I had wanted to go camping for my birthday, but we could never get a spot. And <laughs> I searched for hours looking for different campgrounds and stuff. And I finally was like, you know what? Let me just try this one that I wanted to go to last month or several weeks ago. Maybe they'll have spots open. The last time I checked this campground, they were booked until like April. So it was a long shot, but they had one spot open for the exact three days that we needed. So, um, I'm getting my camping trip. Uh, I'm recording this, it's like, what is today? It's Tuesday, we're not leaving until Friday. So, hello future. <laughs> but either it's coincidence or the universe has a sense of humor. Um, I do realize that a lot of the people in my research for scripting say that you know, sometimes they, uh, the things that they're trying to manifest take a long time. They take, they take longer. So while this experiment was only a week and a half, two weeks long, maybe it wasn't even that long. I don't know. Um, while this experiment wasn't very long, I am actually doing more scripting. Um, when I wrote the first script for the headphones, which is hilarious to me that going back and editing it, um, <laughs> I saw that I was specific in my script and I didn't remember being specific in my update. So that was funny. But anyway, um, I am doing more scripting. I wrote down other things that I would like to manifest in a scripting fashion when I wrote down that first script. As of today, those haven't come true. I haven't gone back and actually reread them, but I'm going to. I know one of the videos that I watched said that them reading their script once or twice a day, um, they felt like they got better results that way. So I will give that a try. The things that I wrote down that are more personal, more uh, long-term for more of a long-term experiment are more long-term things. So I will keep everyone updated, I guess, with that. Um, but yeah, this has been a really interesting experience. I didn't expect, honestly, for anything to come of it, which maybe isn't fair to the process of scripting. But with the other things that I wrote down, I am trying to give it a fair chance. It's 
It's really funny to me that the second one that I wrote for camping didn't happen, but then I got a camping spot that I had really, really wanted to go to several weeks ago. Um, so that's funny. But I feel like scripting could be incorporated into a witchcraft practice and not necessarily just from a law of attraction perspective. Because if you think about it, if you write affirmations or if you create sigils that is essentially from my understanding the first step in scripting now with witchcraft um, i believe we take it a step further and we create sigils and we do the magic that goes along with it whereas with scripting you sort of create it and then let it go and let the universe or you know whatever higher power you work with you let it take over and bring it to you. So it's like scripting requires no work, no active action. Whereas the witchcraft part of it, if you incorporate affirmations and scripting into your practice, would then require action to go along with it because that's just the nature of witchcraft. Um, so I would be interested in knowing if anybody else that is subscribed to my channel or that comes across this video does scripting or if you use affirmations in any sort of law of attraction type of way. I'm going to continue it for the sake of the experiment and for the sake of just trying something new, but I will be doing more sort of um, witchy and spiritual experiments. I think they're fun. I think they're a great way to expand understanding of how things work in my belief system and why I do certain things and why I don't do others. If you're looking for a witchy community or a community to speak with other magical people, check out the link in my description below. I have a Discord server where we have discussions, we have people asking and answering questions, and sometimes we just talk about our day. So if you need friends or people to chat with or you just want to come hang out, check the link in the description below. It's free to join if you don't have Discord. It's a free program. Um, it's a free app and I'd love to have you there. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I know this was a very short little experiment. I will keep you updated on the other things that happen. If they happen, if they don't happen, I'll let you know. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think and if you try scripting or if you don't even wanna try it, that's fine too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and you wanna be notified of when I post a new video, hit the little bell and give the video a thumbs up if you'd like to give an offering to the YouTube algorithm and the gods of the internet. And I'll see you next time. Bye.